<laughs> Monica and Rachel don't know Chandler's job. Now they're gonna have to switch apartments. <laughs> this, is, this is a good episode. Panda! <laughs> I am the god of games, and I have come here today to inform you that you have broken the code of the reviewing community. You have stopped reviewing games in favor of laziness and debauchery. What say you of these heinous crimes? I mean, I mean, there's just no good games to review right now, man, and, you know, besides it, I, I did some Let's Plays. Eh? Bullshit! There's nothing worth reviewing. Even the best reviewers have to play half-ass titles sometimes. Now come on, man! Quit pissing your life away on the couch and go review a game! Seriously, man, there's like nothing good to review until like... August and, you know... Anything I review on a major console is gonna be like the same thing I've already done before. And besides, I happen to enjoy getting drunk on unlabeled beer and watching reruns of 90s sitcoms. So don't tell me what the- uh? FORCE JOKE! Panda, look deep within yourself. Look not only to the future and the present, but to the past as well. Why do you have pink hair? It totally clashes with your red cloak. FORCE THROW! Oh, okay. Now I'm completely sober. Oh. Is he gone? Well, I guess if the god of games wants me to review a game, then let's go review a game. Alright, let's go and see what we got on the release calendar. Okay, military FPS? No. JRPG? Definitely no. 13th entry into cover-based third-person shooter franchise? No. DLC for stealth action game that I reviewed months ago? No. Third-party indie title with quirky new game mechanic? <laughs> no. That's what Steam sales are for. Well, what am I supposed to review? I don't want to play any of this stuff. Wait a minute. Look deep within yourself. Look not only to the future and the present, but to the past as well. The past? What do you mean by that? Nintendo 64! Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, done to death. Also done to death. Uh, nothing but good things to say about it. Oh, really, really done to death. So oh, no, no, just, just no, no. Not done enough. You know, this is a game from my childhood, and it's something a little bit different. So how about I give it a try and see what I have to say about it? You okay with that? You uh, got any objections? We uh, we, we gonna have a, we gonna have a problem? I will murder your family. Glover! It's everybody's favorite 3D platformer of 1998 about a little glove who carries around a bouncing ball. Nice little intro. Seems tranquil and peaceful enough and... Wait... What, what, what is this? What, what, am I, what am I looking at here? Is this some kind of land-walking shark with good hair? So I guess this is Glover's way of introducing the uninspiredly goofy cast of enemies because here you've got land-walking shark, land-walking lobster of the beach level, scary midget wrapped in toilet paper of the haunted house level, moon man... Space... I don't fucking know. Rejected Barney Auditioner of the Dinosaur level, and Floating Pink Elephant, which I can only assume is the final boss of the gay right-wing party member theme level. Okay, skip ahead. Start game. Okay, enter your name. Dick. Because, you know, what else? Shh, how dare you insult me with your offer of an easy difficulty. I be Battletoads, for Christ's sake. Yeah, one can dream. Okay, so here's a castle. Oh, 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 thank you for clearing that up. I, I, I wasn't sure. No, 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 please tell me other obvious things that I already know and can see with my own eyes like crudely misshapen window. Okay, so in through the window, we got some potions and- Oh! <laughs> this is- this is the wizard. <laughs> this- this clearly is the wizard. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. This is where the animation budget was spent. Right here. Right here animating this motherfucker. <laughs> Moving on. Oh no! Jesse, you blew up the meth lab and put a hole in the floor! Wait till Mr. White finds out about this one. He's gonna be mad. One glove in the cauldron, one glove-er out the window. Oh, how will Glover survive this perilous fall? Oh right, he's a two ounce piece of fabric. Science. Oh, jumpin' Jehoshaphat! The crystals are falling! By God, Glover, use your magic pointer finger that is also your leg to turn them into... balls. 
False? Okay, signs. Oh, and by the way, this is Glover. This is Glover. This is fucking Glover! God, you're a fucking Goomba. Oh, and last but not least, of course, here we have Cross Stitch, or should I say, the bearer of too close a likeness to Dingpot the Cauldron. Okay, first things first, I gotta find a ball. Initially, Glover actually controls pretty nicely, and that is until you pick up your ball. And that's where all your troubles begin. The movement is wonky as shit, and the camera doesn't always follow you too well. Just like home movies made at Christmas time. And Grandpa's drunk. So what can you do with your ball? Well, you can swish it, or you can smack it. Like it's your bitch. <laughs> you know, I was actually gonna make a Chris Brown joke there, but uh... Turn, turns out I'm better than that. Okay, so I've made it to the first level. Some kind of water... sand... beach? I got my ball, and hey look! It's Land Walking Shark with good hair from the intro. Well, just gonna ease my way around- ah! You needle nosing son of a bitch. Gonna dribble your ass! Okay, well, that didn't work. So, uh, just get the old ball back and, oh jeez, oh fuck, oh jeez! I'm dead. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 30 seconds into the first level and I am already dead. Looks like I'm trying again. Shaquille O'Neal! Nope. Bitch smack! Nothing. So I eventually figure out that you can change your ball into other objects, such as this bowling ball. So I figure, you know, bowling ball, shark, worst enemies, probably gonna kill him. So BAM! Oh. Okay. 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 Oh no! Damn it! I guess that's why mom always said, you don't trust no shark unless you got insurance. What the fuck does that even mean? Alright, so you can't kill enemies in this game. Yeah, who'd have thought that in a game made for children about a magical glove, you can't kill stuff. See? You slap Taros McBull here and he just goes back about his business, running to and fro, cracked off his gourd. Back to controls. The movement with the ball is pretty awkward, and I never fully got the hang of it, as you will see in the moments to come. Not to mention that walking on top of your ball is totally disorienting, seeing as how the controls reverse and you end up whip-wobbling all over the place, causing extreme tedium, especially when there are deadly ball-popping fish in your rolling space. Oh damn it! Okay, okay. God, reverse controls! Okay, made it up. Fucking tits! What? No, come back! I need you! Okay, stay on there, stay on there. Oh! Okay, that was my fault. Okay, made it up again. D damn it! Fucking reverse controls again! Okay, I made it, I made it, I made it. No! Okay, I can do this. No! Well, I guess if you get sick of trying to keep Glover and his ball up here, you can... You can hump a wall. Or something. Okay, so, apparently it's time for a boss fight. Cross Stitch is here and has decided to make his most disturbing creation yet. A fish on top of a lobster on top of a whale. Yes, Wallob fish. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to welcome you to the most unexciting boss fight of all time. You would think that since Wallob fish is so slow, you'd be able to avoid him pretty well, but since the controls suck a dick and a half, it's not so easy. You gotta try to get him to land on your bowling ball or slap him with it at the perfect time, but yeah, finicky as shit. Oh, and apparently that attack takes away three hearts. I am dead. With a capital D. Okay, round two. Well's dead. So how do you kill the lobster? Oh, oh right, you mercilessly pound him into the ground. How do you kill the fish? <laughs> it seems that you must also mercilessly pound him into the ground. Well, I guess I completed world one. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Atlantis? That was Atlantis? Okay, well, NASA, marine biologist, geologist, Aquaman, call off the search. The mythical lost underwater city has been discovered and it is full of gloves, wallob fishes, and difficult control schemes. Nothing to see here, folks. Circus Land. Land. All the colors, all the fun, all the juggling chickens. Wait, what? Okay, so I'm not far at all into this world, but the feeling of this game is not good and I've not become invested has officially set in, and I have grown quite weary of it and its abundance of perilous platforms over infinite abysses. But, but, but no. No, no, no. For the sake of this video, I have decided to soldier on and knock down this wall. Oh, okay, I guess that's not what you're supposed to do there. Fuckers. Oh, perilous clips! Damn it. Okay, so I'm leaving that area in favor of conquering this pepperoni pizza ramp. Oh, shit! Okay, I'm gonna try the marble because it rolls up hill easier. I think I'm done playing Glover. Well, I can't say that it felt good to actually play Glover. It felt really great to go back and experience something a little bit different, make a video about it, upload it to YouTube, and hope to God that people subscribe and watch it so that I can make lots of money and go and buy me some hookers and blow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a lie. I don't need money from this shit to go out and buy hookers and blow. I rob banks for a living. What are you doing with your life? You know, I think I'm gonna like reviewing older stuff every now and then. And there's only one person to really thank, just one, for the inspiration. That's right. 
My main hook of Bonita. Bonita, you the skankiest. Yep, from now on, it's gonna be videos about games old and new. No restrictions, FPS or edutainment, Metroidvania inspired or turn-based strategy, Master 2 and the Drunkard Who, or, I don't know, physics-based puzzlers, Mario Brothers, or even... Hey, these are these are other videos I've done. Just go check them out. They're uh, they're actually actually reviews. Well, sort of. At, at least one of them. At least one of them is a review. You know, like and subscribe if you want. Okay, bye. Thank you.